poetry for warriors. Phones rang in the police station, and everyone hustled round. Then John Holbrook came over to see the Joneses, and then with them sat down. He was a veteran officer who wore his badge with pride, and he tried to be calm and sympathetic as he asked questions and prayed. Sirius, will you tell me again what you saw on that night? I saw something shining in our field. It gave off a metallic light, and Connor and I went to look and see what it was. It was about the size of a barstool seat, and it gave off a low buzz. After we stared for a few seconds, it floated up off the ground. We both ran as fast as we could, but... Her resolve devolved into a frown. Her frown drowned into a cry, and soon more tears were shed. I think that's all I need for now, Cyrus. Would you like some banana bread? Cyrus shook her head at the officer, and John looked over at Reed. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, will you come with me? There's just a couple forms I need. Reed and his wife Emily followed John down the hall. Then John dropped his niceness and left them feeling called. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I'll say this to you straight out. Your girl needs some major help of that I have no doubt. I can give you a recommendation for psychiatric help, if you'd like it now. My daughter is not crazy. Calm down, Em, calm down. Reed looked John right in the eyes and lowly spoke these words. I believe my daughter's story, and I believe your evaluation is absurd. Then maybe you all should get some help. So to you I say good day. And John Holbrook got back to his work, leaving Cirrus with no way to find out truly what happened to Connor, or who was behind it all. Reed and Emily took Cirrus home as her eyes continued to bawl. This has been Poetry for Warriors Daily. For more, visit joshuadavidling.com.